Hello everyone, welcome to Bollywood Bug. This is Sriyoshi. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to it right now. Today I watched a film called The Tender Bar that started streaming worldwide on Amazon Prime Video from 7th of January this year. It's based on a memoir book of the same na name written by J.R. Moringer. So plenty of films get released every Friday on OTT platforms. The question is whether you should give this one a try or not. To know answer to that question, make sure you watch this video till the end because now I am going to review The Tender Bar. So The Tender Bar showcases the journey of JR, a little kid who goes to live with his grandparents along with his mother uh, and tries to seek a father figure outside because he and his mother has been abandoned by his father and he only knows his father as the voice on the radio because he happens to be a radio jockey. Uh, now finally he finds a father figure in his uncle Charlie who always tells the truth on his face may be harsh or sweet and um, he happens to run a, a bar in Long Island and that bar becomes the comfort zone for JR, the home for JR and probably that's why the name the tender bar. Uh, Uncle Charlie happens to be like a Santa in his life who always supports him, always shows up when he is in trouble or turmoil. Uh, the film also uh, showcases the turmoils he faced, JR faces in terms of dealing with his father, in terms of dealing with his love life as a teenager and also uh, the dilemma faced by him uh, about choosing his career because he wanted to be a writer but his mother wants him to go to the Yale University and become a lawyer. So what he finally chooses and how he finally deals with the, all these emotional turmoils to know it, you have to go f watch this film on Amazon Prime Video. Now coming to direction and screenplay, well actor director George Clooney tried his best to keep the narrative very realistic. It's based on a book so no points for innovative writing there. Uh, the first 30 minutes of the film is actually quite engaging. You will feel for the little boy and the emotions he is going through and you will feel curious to know what he does next. Uh, and also you will love the bonding showed between uh, Uncle Charlie and JR. But after that, the film becomes a little too slow to keep you hooked and engaged and you will feel a little bored to be honest. Uh, also, uh, unnecessary focus on his love life is just uh, not needed in this film. I think the film could have dealt with one particular issue that is dealing with his father or finding a father figure in someone else rather than showcasing so many things at once. Uh, also, I would say that uh, for those who love realistic films, they might say that this is the beauty of the film, that the film has been kept so realistic. It's not something innovative and not heard about before but it's very realistic and you might have actually seen uh, someone else going through these turmoils or you might have faced yourself. So in that way, it can be relatable. Coming to acting performances, well, all the actors performed really well, but not much focus was given to all of them. Uh, Daniel Ranieri as the little J uh, JR and uh, Ben Affleck as Uncle Charlie will definitely keep you hooked and uh, keep you interested throughout the film. Um, Ty Sheridan as senior JR failed somehow to engage us with his acting although he his acting is right but maybe the character sketch and the issues showed uh, that he faced was not very uh, interesting to watch or engaging to watch I would say. Also, I loved Brianna Middleton who played the role of uh, JR's love interest. Her screen presence was very short but very impactful, exactly how uh, the importance of uh, Sydney was in JR's life. The dialogues in the film are not worth remembering and it's a shame because uh, in stories that are so controversial, that are so emotional, there could have been much more impactful dialogues but uh, there are not so it's a shame. Also uh, the background score is nothing so memorable uh, but the background score blended well but you know after watching the film you won't feel like oh I remember that background score and it was so impactful. No that's not gonna happen. 
Now coming to my final verdict, I would say how the film ended will leave you feel like you were going on a journey with JR, but at the middle of the road, he just threw you out of the car and left you behind. So it's that incomplete. The film's ending is really, uh, you know, open endings are fine, but it's really incomplete and doesn't feel like uh, you have got what you were seeking while starting to watch the film. Uh, also, this film is not everyone's cup of tea. Not everyone can relate to this film, understand this film or feel interested in watching this film. I would just suggest that you have to have patience in order to understand and watch this film. If you do, then definitely you can connect to the characters and uh, feel the emotions that they are going through. So this is all I had to say about the tender bar that you can go watch on Amazon Prime video. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my review or not. And if you like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. I will see you in another review video. Till then, it's me, Sriyoshi, signing off.